Hello, my name is Stephen Cunningham. I'm currently the animation and games course leader for the vocational A-level subject. Within the course, you'll study a wide range of subjects related to the production of computer games and animation. You'll start off by studying 2D skills, which uh, bridge the traditional areas of art and design with digital skills, uh, which are often seen more prevalent within the industry these days. From there, you'll then develop skills that allow you to take your designs and build them in 3D. So what I mean by that is you'll be able to build 3D environments or props that would typically be seen within an animation or game environment. You'll also get to use a variety of software and equipment that is industry standard and will help you progress on to university. Typically, students who pick this area to study would go on to progress to HE for further study and to develop the skills. Some of the areas that you could look into doing after this course, you could look into uh, continue on to an illustration art uh, based area. You could do 3D modeling uh, for games or animation, or you could look into actually developing your skills that relate to animation and advertisement. One of the benefits of doing the A-level version of this course is you'll be able to study two additional courses alongside it. This will broaden your skill base and skill range and you'll be able to develop a wider skill base giving you a greater selection of progression routes uh, should you continue on to uh, university. Another benefit of the course is the actual equipment we've got. We've got state-of-the-art PCs, uh, computer gaming PCs that allow you to develop animation and games products to the highest possible standards. The college relatively has smaller class sizes, meaning you get extra additional one-to-one -one support, so you'll have more time with a tutor in the lesson as opposed to other colleges. If you are interested in studying at the college and you're interested in this course, please don't hesitate to get in touch.